Hello everyone, it is still a wet and cloudy day. Wet and cloudy day. Nope. It's wet, rainy, and <laughs> sunless skies. <laughs> so we're back for another um, session of the season one. We're still going through the introductory round. I believe we're now midway through. Um, we have five family left to meet. We have the Phillips, the Veltran, the Sultan, and the Keeley. Wait, hold on. The Keeley. Oh, and the Goth. We have the Goth. The Goth is also here. I think it's going to be interesting to learn about the Goth. So we have Philip, Veltran, Goth, Philip, Veltran, Sultan, Goth, and Keeley. So five families. Since I know the Goth families are the family that we all loved from the original, the Maxis games, we can go ahead and, um, and load this lot. Now, fun fact, um, uh, actually, well, fun fact, and pretty, pretty known too, because I think I spoke, I've spoken about this many times. I've never played the Maxis default playables. And even though I have, but I've never played them through, like, a, through a generation. Like, I would go in there, open and try them for about five, ten minutes, I leave, and that's it. Because I always find it more interesting to create my own um, characters and play with them. So I've never played with them, so I'm not familiar with their lore. Well, I'm familiar with their lore because I hear about it all the time. But I've never, like familiarize with sim as a sim that I play with, if that makes sense. Okay, ooh, oh, look like we have a custom, a custom content um, issue here. Let's see if I can fix this pretty quickly. Oh, I can't. Oh, no. I will leave it for now. I'll fix that next game. So just pretend that she really loved blue books. <laughs> bright, bright neon blue books. <laughs> So we have Cassandra Goth the Witch. Ooh. Are we gonna have Supernatural in here? I don't plan on playing a Supernatural in this game, but I don't know guys. Do you think I should keep her a witch? Um, it'd be interesting though. So Cassandra Goth, she is a knowledge a knowledge sim and she seems to be an adult this time around. Oh, and I love her new hairstyle. <laughs> And her outfit, very nice. I liked it. I like it a lot. Um, I still like those glasses, the pearl earrings, the necklace. Oh gosh, she's pretty in this. Um, in this, um, she has a lifetime goal to become a math scientist. She's a math scientist, and she's a witch. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> so I'm not familiar with Cassand the the original character Cassandra from the original game. So this is gonna be like playing a brand new character for me. So. Relationship wise, she she seemed to be attracted to the sim called um, Hyde Phillips. She is best friend, and they seem to be very close. Um, sh um, she is not in a good relationship with two separate sim. We have Estelle Landborn, Landborn, and Ryan Selton. She does not like these two sims for some reason. Did not like them so. That can be something interesting to um, go into. And looking at her family tree, it seems that that um, the family didn't carry over. But we do know that her parents is Bella Goth and Mortimer Goth. Is that who they are? Correct me, I'm wrong. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you guys, please do not like kill me <laughs> if I got that wrong. But I'm pretty sure it was Bella Goth and Mortimer. <laughs> I at least know that much. Hopefully. Skill set. Um, she is in the science career. She is uh, almost halfway through to reaching her goal of becoming that mad scientist. Skill wise, she she is one point one um skill point short of the cooking um point required. Um, same with logic and same with cleaning. And she's also one friend short. Um, um, from the promotion, so she have a little bit of work to do. No badge at all. Um, she's a Cancer. Hmm, I always thought she might be some, something a little bit different, but huh, it'd be interesting. She's very neat. She's very shy. She's 
oh, she's she's mid range and act and active. Um, she's pretty play. She's playful, but not that playful. And she's not really a, like a, you know a nice sim. Um, health wise, she's okay. Let's see what her bio said. Nobody can tell what she's thinking, so she knows the element surprise is on her side. Now I totally forgot to read her family bio before we load the lot, so forgive me. We'll do that next time, <laughs> or you can just pause the the video when right before I load it and just read um, a little bit of that. Um, interest, interest why she's very into money. She's really interested in money, sports, and fashion. She do have a, um, some good interest in crime, environment, and entertainment. Crime probably because of her mother's disappearance. Um, work and weather. She, she don't have any interest in culture at all or school or travel. So she's pretty much, she seems to be like a home person. We do not know what her um, hobby is, but I will like, won't take a guess at science. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at her memories. Um, she was potty trained, taught how to walk, taught how to talk from Mystery Sim, but we all know who they are, those Mystery Sims are. There was a fire. Huh. Um, and then she learned to study from a Mystery Sim. And then she went to private school, got an alien report card, and mystery sim got abducted by alien. I'm pretty sure this is Bella Goth who got abducted by aliens. Um, she grew up well, got a job, met mystery sim, had very first kiss, she got a promotion, became best friend with somebody, fell in love with somebody, got a promotion, got engaged. I'm pretty sure that mystery sim, somebody that she fell in love and got engaged with is uh, Donald Dario. <laughs> they woohoo for the first time and then they and she caught him cheating. <gasps> yep. Yep, she caught him cheating. So she lost him as a best friend. She broke up with that mystery sim, got a promotion, and somebody died. I'm willing to bet that the sim who died is probably her father. So she moved out, bought a house here in Sorabora, met Hyde, became best friend with Hyde, met, met Estelle, met Ryan, and then became a witch. Now, like I said, I'm I don't like to play with paranormal. I like to keep my game a little more realistic. Um, so I might cure her away from this in the next round. But let me know. Do you want me to keep Cassandra as a witch or not? Just let me know. <laughs> Chemistry wise, she is attracted to a logical sim as well as mechanical sim, and then her turn off is cologne. She's sensitive. Maybe she's allergic to him. Um, she has nothing in her inventory. And she has five benefit points, so we can go ahead and give fulfill all of the regular needs. And since she really, really wants to become a math scientist, we're gonna give her the last one to the knowledge aspiration benefits for the slower needs decay for social and fun. I think that will come very beneficial to her, since she will probably be spending most of her time in the lab. <laughs> so that's just about that's it about her. Um, and her house is very nice and decent. It keep in the, it's within the spirit of um, the original. She has this little secret pathway. So I do have teleport in here. And because she's a witch, she can just teleport herself up into this room whenever she needs to. So there's no need for stairs. <laughs> or, or I do have a little ladder. Maybe I can have a little secret ladder here. And she will climb up the ladder and go in here whenever she wants. That'd be interesting too. So, um, let's get in with this gameplay. We have about good 20, 25 minutes to play. So, she wanted to reach logic level 3, cleaning level 6, and a cooking skill point. So, I'm going to go ahead and she wanted to see goals, which was locked. I'm going to, I'm not going to bother. I don't think anybody died in this lot. Is there an urn or a, um, is there an urn or a cemetery here, guys? Oh, she had a shed. Oh, that's different. Oh, here it is. There, here's her cauldron, and here is her um, spell book. Oh, I need to give her her stuff. Um, so I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and give her her stuff. Okay, I finished putting in all her stuff, and we can go ahead and start playing. So I'm gonna go ahead and have her learn how to cook since she already had that in her um, 
want list. So she's gonna go to decode. Okay, that blink thing is starting to annoy me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this bookshelf um, in her inventory, and I'm gonna get her a different bookshelf. And then, um, and then after this playthrough, I'll go ahead and put the original back one back on because I need to find out why that is um, blinking like that. Let's see, something equivalent, something equivalent. I think I got some new bookshelves, so it's just taking a little bit more to load. Sorry guys, I should have done that earlier. <laughs> so let's see. This seems to fit in with the aesthetics of this household. Oh, so we'll go ahead and do that and study cooking. It doesn't seem to be a lot of light in her household. So she's gonna go ahead and learn cooking. And she also wanna learn oh cooking to level three. Logic level three. Oh Mr. Humble is here. Oh, and her car is here to pick her up to go to work. So she's gonna go to work. Her carpool is here. Let her go and I'll see you when she make it back. Okay, she's back home from work and she earned 525. She didn't get promoted because she still needs a lot of skilling to do. So we continue where we left off and have her finish studying and cooking. And let me see what else she has here for logic. Uh, logic, logic. Oh, she has a chessboard here. So we're gonna have her do that. Is she hungry? Nope, she's not hungry, so she can skill all the way through. So, then logic afterward, and then we'll have her do her cleaning. Practice logic. Oh, she's into games. Huh, that's interesting. And she wants to cast a spell. Not yet, because I still is debating whether I want to make her a witch or have her um, stop. Perfect. And reach cleaning level 6. So study cleaning. She's getting there. Um, I'll just, I'll just unlock one of them. Then after this, I'll have her um, contact one for friends. Oh, she don't know anybody. No, after this, I'll have her open Mr. Humble's computer. Does she have a desk for her computer? Nope, she has a um, vanity, but she don't have a desk. But I'll put her one desk, the computer here for her, so she can meet somebody new. Awesome. And we're good for now. I'm gonna have her head to bed. She is gonna gonna have to work wake up really early tomorrow. So I'm gonna have her use the toilet. Take a quick shower and head to bed. And then tomorrow we're gonna come in here. We're gonna sell her um, Mr. Humble's computer. And then we'll give her the new computer, so... Um, or we can just even send her off into the new lot so she can buy a new bookshelf because apparently this one is not working. <laughs> so, thank you so much guys for joining me for this episode. It is pretty quick. This episode is a little boring, that's because she's the only sim in the lot and she doesn't seem to know. And she uh, know other people and because she seemed to focus more on skilling than wanting to meet other sims, so there's not much to do. Anyway, thank you again for watching me and I'll see you on the very next episode. We'll be meeting a brand new family this time.